hydrology log. It's the dry season here in the East African savanna, and it's definitely looking dry. But there are still some green trees and shrubs around this area. And my soil samples are gravelly. These are both signs of possible water underground. Still, most of the plants are awfully dried out. One spark of lightning and the whole area could go up in flames. Run! Oh, oh, what's, no, what, what's going on? There's a scary creature by the watering hole just past those bushes. It's got really sharp teeth and big sharp claws. Keeps chasing us away from the watering hole. Ah! Ah, run! Ah! Better check out this ferocious beast. Oh, excuse me, little fellow. Who are you calling, little buster? My name's Barney, actually. Have you seen the scary creature that frightened off those others from this watering hole? <laughs> That's me. Name's Debbie. Those others kept trying to use my watering hole, so I chased them off. Why? There's more than enough water here for everyone to share. Yeah? Well, Debbie says, so what? Honey badgers don't share. Now, go away! Whoa! Oh. Uh, look, Debbie, is it? I think we just got off to a bad start. Here, have a Barney patty. It's my own special recipe of nuts, seeds, and bugs. Bugs? Honey badgers love bugs. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh. There, now that I've shared my snacks, maybe you can share this watering hole. <laughs> hmm, might need a little help with this one. Better sound the octo alert. Octo Agent Parney, report please. Captain, I could use some help with a tough talking honey badger. Her name's Debbie, and she keeps chasing other creatures away from the local watering hole. And it's the dry season. So the animals really need water. Well, honey badgers do have a reputation for being fierce and never backing down, even from much larger creatures. But it is strange she won't leave. Honey badgers normally search for food over a large area. Hmm. If the honey badger won't leave, maybe we can dig another watering hole for the others. Splashing idea, Tweak. I can't be certain, but based on my research, it seems there may be an aquifer close by. And what kind of fur? An aquifer is a layer of water that can be found underground. So if you can find that water and dig down to it, we'll have another watering hole. Nothing's better at digging than the tarragut too, Cap. And if there's water underground, I'll find it. Good. Hold on. You don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... We'll... <laughs> or you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! Ah! Oh. These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, 
Not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat. As an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack, because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper. Yeah, it's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure indeed. You need some shut-eye, matey. You've been setting up dozens of those things all over the jungle. <sighs> Not just setting them up, Quasi. I gotta test him too. See? My critter recorders catch any noise from nearby critters. Record it and tell me the location. Well done, Tweak. Now I think you better get some rest. But I brought some kelp cakes to roast on the fire. Shut eye first. Your kelp cakes will still be here in the morning. <laughs> yeah, okay. For roasted. Hey, what happened to our kelp cakes? The same thing that happened to the ashes from our campfire. They were plundered by a jungle ghost. Oh, me, oh, my. They were probably eaten up by a hungry critter. A critter who steals kelp cakes and ash? There's something more afoot here, matey. Better sound the octave alert. <laughs> Tweak, report please. Looks like something raided our campsite and ate all our food. And the ashes from our campfire. Flappity flippers. What kind of creature eats ashes? A jungle ghost. I've never heard of a jungle ghost, Quasi. Nor have I heard of a creature that eats ashes. Either way, the jungle is no place to be without food. Hmm. Octo Agent Tracker is stationed near your location. I'll have him deliver fresh supplies. Up to Agent Tracker reporting with replacement supplies. Thanks, Tracker. I can't believe all our supplies went missing. I've been checking my critter recorders to see if they recorded any critters coming through camp, but not a peep. Won't do you any good. Jungle ghosts are as silent as a windless night. Legend has it that they raid shipwrecked pirate campsites in the night and things start to go missing. And then the jungle ghost appears. That sneaky spirit will steal the spots right off a leopard. Uh, Quasi, you can't steal a leopard's spots. It says so right here. I downloaded the training manual onto my Octo Watch, so I don't have to flip through all the pages anymore. <gasps> my critter record is picking up a sound. I didn't hear anything. I told you, matey. That's because jungle ghosts are silent. Sunlight shines through so plants and animals can thrive right here inside the cave. Uh -uh, not this animal. I need to get back into the nice, cool darkness. Wait, can I get a photo of you before you go? Oh, a brand new species and I didn't even get a record of it. I think we've got bigger problems. Something left a gash in this tree. A cave monster! I knew it! Uh, I don't think so, Quasi. These claw marks look more like they belong to some kind of tiger. A tiger? Yes, tigers mark their territory like this as a warning to keep other tigers away. Keep other tigers away from what? Their food. <gasps> Where'd that roar come from? I'm not sure I want to find out. Well, I'm not going to be tiger food. Come on, up this tree! Jumping jellyfish! That's a named a Chinese tiger, an endangered species. It's very rare to see one these days. <laughs> but what's it doing in a cave? I don't know, but we're running out of tree. Just happy we found you. Unfortunately.
Unfortunately, you're not the only one who found us. Huh? Does she? Lift us up! Hurry! Wait! Dashie, lower us back down. We need to help that tiger. She's hurt. Are you sure about this? She's an endangered species. There are only a few of them left in Vietnam. Hello, we're the Octonauts. We're here to help. So please don't eat us. Eat you? Oh, no, I already ate this morning. I'm lost. I was following you to find the way out of this cave. There you go. Good as new. Oh, thank you. Uh, do you think I can trouble you for a lift out of here? Of course. Let's get you back to your natural habitat. Thanks again for the ride, Octonauts. You a moment too soon. I just got hungry. Oh. Goodbye. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond!